I forgot my shirataki noodles. Yum. What next? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a really fun video talking about all kinds of keto snacks and keto meals that I use when I'm on keto. And this will be my second time trying the keto diet. I started back on it about a week ago and I'm just falling back in love with it. So I really recommend if you guys are considering going on the keto diet, you watch this video, you're gonna learn about a lot of really easy tips and tricks to use for your diet. We've curated some of my best things that I like to eat and I'm gonna show you everything. So come. This is my beautiful pink fridge. Not an ad, I just love it. My number one go-to, which I probably have maybe a little bit too much of, are berries. They do still have natural sugar, so you have to be careful not to have too much. But again, I think it's a really nice treat and snack, and it's so refreshing. It gives you a little boost. When you're not having sugar, berries are like heavenly. The next keto snack I'm gonna share is this organic coconut milk yogurt alternative. This only has 3.9 carbs per serving, and only 3.3 are from sugar. So yes, I'm just <laughs> making sure there's no real sugar no, there isn't. I personally love yogurt, and if you wanna go have a non-dairy alternative, coconut yogurt is a great selection. You can put your berries on top, a little bit of dark chocolate, and that's like a perfect dessert. Next, this does not look very attractive or appealing, but it's chicken breast. So I have some chicken breast here. Of course, you're not gonna eat it raw. You need to cook it, cook it well. Chicken breast was definitely one of my best friends when I was on keto, and now, again, that I'm back on keto, I love having chicken and anything that's like white protein. You can have it at least two meals a day, or you can even have it as a snack. Like, you shouldn't always think, when you think snack, I need to grab something packaged and fast and easy. Having like one chicken breast could be a really filling, amazing snack. Another thing that I like to have stocked in my fridge is whipping cream. And again, something that's completely with no sugar added, it's very important. And this is something you can put with your berries. You can put it on your iced coffee. I feel like you really need to treat yourself. That way you'll never wanna cheat, you'll never wanna give up. So having things like this in your fridge are definitely important in my opinion. The next thing that I like to have stocked in my fridge is coconut oil. And this is super important if you are trying to go the non-dairy route or you're trying to limit your dairy. I would try to find alternatives because the keto diet typically has a lot of dairy in it. So when I'm able to find an alternative, I'd rather go with it so then I can have dairy when I'm having cheese or feta. So I like to go with the coconut oil butter and this is something that I put in sometimes my coffee on top of spinach and garlic, things like that. Like I wanna still make sure it's really buttery and yummy. Let me shut the fridge real quick. Give it a break, it's gonna get angry and then I'll make noise and it starts acting crazy. The next thing that I'd recommend is some tuna. I personally find it a really useful way to quickly put together like a tuna salad if you're starving and you don't wanna go for something super naughty. I would limit the amount of canned foods that you do eat, but I think canned tuna is definitely a great thing to have ready and handy and try to find things that have the least amount of preservatives if you can. Put some black pepper, a little bit of mayonnaise, some diced up pickles. It's a wonderful quick snack. Maybe some chopped onions. Next, we're gonna show you guys some of my favorite vegetables and I'm just gonna show you how some cauliflower, broccoli, asparagus. And am I missing my cucumbers? I don't have cucumbers in my fridge, but they're definitely a vegetable I have a lot of on keto. I definitely recommend having a lot of vegetables on hand and try to include them in your diet. Cauliflower is super filling. It honestly, for me, it fills me up super quick. It does make you really gassy, so load up on the gas X because <laughs> you're gonna need it. Next, we have some olives, and I love olives, and it's definitely something super satisfying, very filling. I have two different types here. These, I believe, are some Italian olives. They're delicious. I first tried the style olive when I was in Italy and I got so addicted. I find them so delicious. They're so buttery and so yummy and so satisfying. Like 10 olives will kind of kill your hunger. And I also have them every morning with breakfast. So yummy and very healthy for you too. We have tomato paste here, but that's something important to mention. Ketchup is not allowed on keto, which is really heartbreaking. I love ketchup personally, but unfortunately, I'm sure you guys probably know, it includes high fructose corn syrup. A lot of newer versions don't have it, but they still have sugar usually. So just avoid ketchup if you're on keto. Hot sauce. Hot sauce is a great alternative. Most hot sauces have zero calories and they make things taste so good. I would use them in moderation because I have a lot of sodium, but for me, again, hot sauce when I'm on keto is my go-to because it makes everything so flavorful and delicious. I'm actually gonna grab my hot sauce because you guys have to check it out. It's the best hot sauce. Thank me later. The best hot sauce you'll ever have. It's Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce. Divine. And again, zero calories. I'm like, how are you so magical? Like, what deal have you done with the devil? So good. And of course, we have some nuts. These are fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Macadamia nuts. 
Oh my gosh, I love macadamia nuts. I literally have every kind of nut in here because I'm crazy, but I eat a lot of nuts on keto and not on keto. They're very high calorie though, so you have to make sure you eat them in moderation. I'm just having a little tea break. Tea is another snack that I love having. I have a lot of ginger tea, so we boil super, super, super hot ginger, and I add lemon, and it's such a satisfying, amazing snack, very low calorie, and it's also very good for your gut. Definitely load up on your ginger tea, and it'll help with the gas from the cauliflower <laughs> and the broccoli. So the next snack is kombucha, and this is cardamom flavored kombucha, just amazing. So this has, oh, per 100 ml, it has 1.4 grams of sugar, and there's no added sugar. There is pure apple juice that they've added, which is technically not keto, but I feel just because the amount of sugar is so low, like 1.4 grams per 100 ml, I think if you just have like a 50 ml cup, it's okay. But again, if you're gonna be super strict, I guess you should probably avoid things with apple juice. Yeah, you should. I found a few more ingredients while I was looking for something else that I forgot. I found MCT oil. These are great for putting inside your coffee to make it bulletproof and this has 130 calories and so yeah lots of, lots of, mm. <laughs> of course so this has a lot of calories great to keep you going another few things that I think is very important to keep with you is packets of almond butter these are lifesavers like if you're on the keto diet and you're on the go a lot of times most things that you find are not keto friendly there are some things like nuts and stuff but this is a great thing to just shove in your bag they live a long time they don't have to be refrigerated just keep them with you keto friendly with MCT oil Wow, what a great combination. Another thing to keep handy is stevia. Stevia is a sugar alternative and it has no sugar carbs, but it has other carbs, which are polyvalent alcohol carbs. But again, keto friendly, so you can use this when you're making keto ice cream. And check out my video where I made keto ice cream. Another thing that I like to stock up on is cheese. And I definitely overdo it when I'm on keto. I eat a lot of cheese and that's why I try to cut back on all other dairy products because I feel like otherwise you're gonna be having a lot of dairy, for me personally anyway. So here I have some halloumi cheese, some cream cheese. I also love lebna, which is an Arabic type of cheese, but it's more like a, a whipped kind of cross between yogurt and cream, I guess. But it's delicious. Parmesan cheese, cheddar, everything. I, I obsess with cheese. You can have like a really nice cheese board with olives, walnuts, cashews and maybe a little bit of berries but see things like that are very like satisfying and you still feel like you're spoiling yourself but you're still living a really nice keto friendly life another thing I like to keep handy oh my god this really makes me realize like how many things there are that are keto friendly it's really incredible this is keto rice zero fat very low in calorie everything is made out of konjac I believe it's a mushroom derived sort of fiber and they have rice they have spaghetti noodles protein noodles as well but this is definitely something that I would keep in stock it's very satisfying. So another thing that I like to have when I'm on keto is keto sweets and check with your local bakeries. A lot of people are now following the keto trend or no carb, low carb trend and a lot of really amazing desserts are usually available. So when I'm trying to lose weight, I try to limit myself to just have one treat per week because if you do have them every day, you're probably not going to lose weight. From my own experience, that's kind of what I saw. Another snack that I find really, really delicious is from Smart Sweets, kind of similar to Swedish fish, gummy bears, and these are more gummy bears. They also have sour gummy bears, which are delicious. The net carbs, like the sugar carbs, are about three grams per bag. So again, it is keto friendly, but be careful. And I wouldn't have it more than once a week if you're trying to lose weight. Because if you have it every day, when I started eating them every day, I stopped losing weight. Only 80 calories a bag. It's insane. I actually bought these recently and I haven't even tried them yet. So I'm gonna try them with you guys right now. The Cereal School peanut butter flavored. I guess it's cereal, but I love cereal, so I have it with nothing all the time. These are really good. This with some coconut milk, be fantastic. I do recommend the keto diet. I'm not gonna say it works for everybody, but it definitely works for me 1000%. It's my favorite diet I've ever tried because I think I love the fact that you don't have to count calories. You don't have to be obsessed with tracking every single thing that you eat. You just avoid everything that you shouldn't have and you're never hungry. So I love all those factors. I could go on forever because <laughs> I am really passionate about this, just knowing how much it's changed my life when I am on track. And I do think it's really important to take care of your health, whatever way you feel you want to do it. Like it's your choice and you have to do it works for you but definitely work on your health it's the best investment you'll ever make if you only have one body so take care of it as always I'm gonna share a quote that I picked out for today and the quote is one must live to eat not live 
sorry. <laughs> The quote is, One Must Eat to Live, Not Live to Eat by Jean-Baptiste Poquelin. 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 And I definitely relate to this quote 1 million percent. Because even just two weeks ago, when I was not on the keto diet, I really felt like I was addicted to sugar. Like I, I had a chocolate stashed in my room. I'm not going to lie. It was dark chocolate, but not 90 percent. It was like 70 percent dark chocolate with like different flavors. I had chili flavor. I had sea salt, coconut. Like I was obsessed and I literally felt like I had to have it once a day minimum. And I felt so addicted and I was like, it's insane how much food is a drug and sugar is like a crazy drug. Take care of yourself and make sure you're nourishing your body with every bite you take, because you are what you eat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys, and if you want me to do any more videos on keto, let me know below, and make sure you like this video, and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Mwah.